Welcome back to Carpool Counseling, and I'm here with my friend Diane. How you doing, Diane? And so today we're going to talk about blaming people for our past. Ah. So what do you think about blaming people for our past, or for um, pa blaming people in our past for our issues today? Oh, it's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah? You think so? I think so. Why do you think so? Because it's past. But so when somebody says, you know what, I, I'm, I, I'm this way because of my mom, or you know, my right, dad said right. this, or I mean, what do you what do you think about people who say that? <sighs> I think there's some truth to that mm -hmm. because we grow up in our homes, we learn patterns of thinking and patterns of being, and um, it's where we, from early childhood, get a sense of who we are is in our homes from our parents, um, from our siblings. Our, our weird uncle. Yeah. Well, grandma that pinches her cheeks too hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Well, because, yeah. and, you know, in, in the Jesus in book, I talk about um, if your parents are to blame, go ahead and blame them. Because people are always saying, you know, I get so sick and tired of people saying, you, you know, my parents this and my parents that, and you can't blame. It's like, well, you can. And I tell people all the time, I can blame. My parents were seriously <laughs> jacked up people. <laughs> I mean, they were seriously jacked up people. And, um, you know, and so I grew up as a jacked up adult. And I yeah. ended up, you know, needing tons of therapy and mental health stuff. And, and it's like, I got there because of my parents. Now, when I get to that place where I get, you know, my parents are jacked up people and I'm then responsible mm -hmm. to find the help, but to say, you know, I'm this way by myself and I can't blame my parents. I mean, that, that makes me the problem. Right. And I don't believe that I'm the problem. I believe I have a problem and right. it's not, it's not as big as yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> that explains a lot of things. It's not as big now <laughs> as it was then. Um, but, uh, see, they're coming to take me away. Right. You know, this is the second second one we've done where they've they, 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 they come down the road and they're like, okay, that's it. We're coming to take you away. Yep, it's over. Uh, yeah, and so, you know, I, I tell people, you know, if, if you had something in your past that really impacted you negatively, um, you can't be... Um, don't blame yourself that's that that you're having a hard time getting over it but that doesn't mean that you can't get over it or that you shouldn't try to get over it it just means that you're gonna have you have a reason why you are the way you are so many people mm -hmm. think well I'm just jacked up that's just the way I am and I don't believe that I believe there's things that happened in our past and so if you've ever watched the video of uh, about the lies we believe we believe a lot of lies based on the things that happened to us and so when we think about what, what really went on in my life and what did I bring out of that and how did that impact my sense of self and can I say, wow, these things really mess with me and so now I'm going to actually figure out how to unmess myself up. Yeah. I mean, you know. Well, I, then that's the beginning. Right. That's the beginning of recovery from right. these things. Is And so if you have somebody mm. to blame, I mean, I had... <laughs> I had, I had a, some of these people are just, a lot of these people are deceased, so I can talk about them all day long and they can't come and like say anything to me about it. But my, my grandfather, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So I had, uh, my brothers and I, we caught this mole, right, out of the garden and we were like so excited about it and we had it in a coffee can back in the day and we took it over to my grandparents house and we were so excited we're like grandpa grandfather grandpa look look and he, he brought this little trowel you know and he's digging around in the coffee can until he found it and they started jabbing it and he killed it. And I'm like, and we all started crying from ran to the car and just sat in the car and we're like, who, who does that? Okay, that right. kind of stuff messes with your head, right? In so, front of children. Yes, and so it's like you can't say that that stuff mm -hmm. doesn't impact us. And mm -hmm. just because it does, um, it doesn't make us bad people either. And so to be able to say, okay, we've had these negative experiences, they have impacted us, how are we going to then um, address those and heal from them? But if we always mm -hmm. just say, you know, it's just me, you can't have even have a conception of healing. When you realize that it's somebody else, then you have a better conception. I can unlearn what I've been learned, what I've been taught. And so hopefully that um, gives some of you guys a little bit of insight into um, the whole blame issue. So if you've had jacked up parents, go ahead and blame them. Just don't stay in a place where you're not healed. Or so, anger. Or, yeah, or any, any kind of Any or... kind of emotion that, that, that keeps you from experiencing life fully. 
um, to really be able to say, I, I am capable of healing my past. And so hopefully you can embrace that idea and, and move on. So um, say, say goodbye. Bye. See you guys later. <laughs>